Well, hello and a very warm welcome from Team Longshot AI. Now in this video, we'll be talking about creating a blog and without wasting much time, let's get right to it. So the very first thing we do is we click on create new. Now we go to the research and in this bar, we put in a topic or a keyword. So we'll be talking about, uh, let's say, traveling tips in abroad. Let's make it a kind of a long tail keyword and we click on search. So the AI will research and find the top uh, headlines, subheadlines, uh, the keywords and other data. Uh, so as you can see, what we need to do is, as you can see, uh, these are the data. First thing we do is we uh, click on the related keywords. So basically we click on them and uh, whatever words we click on, they get in this box. So we find all the relevant keywords. Let's choose some of them. If you want to find some more keywords, just click on load more and see what comes up. Okay, uh, now let's look at the subheadlines. Is there any good subheadline suggestion? This looks good. So these are the subheadlines from the popular blogs which are ranking on Google or search engine basically for that for this keyword. So let's uh, now look at the top questions from Quora. Uh, this looks good. This looks good as well. And now let's look at for Google. Basically. Uh, all these keywords, these this data basically gives context to the AI. So you'll find out why uh, in the next few steps. Okay, so when we're done, what we do is we go to the heading style and we look at which heading style we want to continue with. I want to create a listicle for this keyword. So let's see what the AI comes up with for the headlines. Okay then. So these are basically the quality parameters as you can see over here the quality indicates A is very good B is good and so uh, we'll choose from one of these now this is uh, seven tips for, for a successful journey to Singapore we're talking about a specific country but we want to keep it uh, normal so this looks good if this looks good you can save it it goes over here uh, maybe I want to Okay, this looks good, but okay, we want to talk about listicle. We'll ask the AI to regenerate again. Let's see what results come this time. This sounds good as well. This sounds good. So you can save these, and if you want to go with one of them, you can simply click over here. Maybe we can also talk about. Let's choose this headline. This looks good. So it comes over here. What we can also do is. Uh, I want to edit this. You can edit it or you can write your own uh, headline as well. Uh, but this looks good. Six travel tips you must know before you go abroad. Before you travel go abroad. Okay, this outline looks good. Um, let's go generate some outlines. These are the popular subheadlines. Um, if none of them look good, uh, we can suggest the AI to generate some of their own outline suggestions. Okay, let's add this one. So you can add up to 10 outline titles. Let's select this one as well. This looks good. This looks good. I'll ask the AI to generate again for some more context okay this looks okay some more maybe this could be my introduction part uh the basics of traveling abroad how to handle money best ways to experience local culture Okay, I think this is pretty much uh, 
it to get started let's generate the blog okay now so the very first thing we need to do is we need to select a relevant niche and we have 15 options available 15 options available uh, we'll choose the most relevant and coincidentally we are talking about the traveling article and traveling is one of the niches which is available i'll select the niche and the first thing after selecting the niche we see that the ai has already come up with an introduction to a blog let's check it out okay it's quite decent but if you're not really happy with the ai's uh, generation what you can do is you can select the title the headline and you can ask the AI to generate intro again. So let's see what the AI comes up with this time. Okay, decent, decent. This, this is good as well. Uh, okay, uh, I'll remove this one. I'm, I'm pretty okay with this intro. Uh, now we're going to talk about the six, six traveling tips. And uh, let's see, I've chosen the outline in the previous step. and. We're talking about money over here. We're talking about money over here as well. Um, this is unique about health. This is more of a, a common topic. Backlight, this is again one of the tips. We have saving money. We have about health. Backing light, the basics of traveling abroad. This is more to do with the introduction. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll uh, paste it over here. How to handle money again it's about the money so we'll just edit it out so i'll remove this bit i'll remove this bit the best way to experience local culture okay we have our we have our five points uh, again uh, talking about the basics of traveling abroad let's see what the ai comes up with uh, i can basically denote it uh, a tag let's let me put in uh, h to tag over here and let's see what the AI writes. So the AI generate intro. If you want to add some keywords, maybe something specific you want the AI to mention, uh, maybe some kind of an intro or a custom paragraph, or maybe you want to add some keywords, you can do that. But I don't want to do that. I just I'll just click on generate and let's see what the AI comes up with. Okay, this is quite decent start. I want the AI to write more. I click on this feature and the AI will generate, generate some more content. Okay. I'll remove this bit again. AI. Hmm. Okay. Pretty decent. I'm pretty okay with this maybe you want to add it in somewhere uh, between these lines you can place them over here i'll just keep them over here just for reference uh now coming to these points uh, this is kind of a general point as well right so what we can do is we can again uh, we can ask the ai to generate intro let's see what the ai talks about talking about paying for Okay, again, it's giving some kind of suggestions. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's ask the AI to write a bit more. It started writing its own uh, listicle within this headline. Um, let's ask the AI to write some more. Okay, bad placement. Just a moment. Okay, I don't want to see this bit, so let me remove this bit. Um, rather than saying tips for staying safe. Uh, show safety. While traveling. Okay. Um, 
again, it's pretty much following the same steps. Uh, how to save money on your trip. Again, asking the AI to generate some intro. So it'll keep uh, dropping some suggestions. Um, okay, here are some other tips on how you can save money. What you can also do over here is you can, if you like find this statement useful, what you can do is uh, I'll select this bit and I'll ask the AI to create a list. So on the selection, it will look and it will generate some suggestions. Okay. So this is one way. This is one way to do it. Pretty good. Okay. If you wanna, if you want the AI to write a bit more, you can again uh, click on the write more feature and let the AI do its thing. Now talking about how to stay healthy while driving, uh, while traveling. So again, ask the AI to generate the introduction for this headline. Okay. Uh, I keep on editing along the way and uh, maybe I want the AI to write a bit more. Hmm. Uh, remove this bit. Okay, let's just ask the AI to maybe it can write something more detailed. Uh, let's create a list. Yeah, this is pretty better. This is pretty good. This is uh, much better than the previous result. So uh, we can again click on, uh, let's say, write more and the AI will generate some more content. Remove this bit. Um, yeah. Okay, this looks good as well. It's like uh, we have our own sub headlines within our headlines. Um, ensure safety while traveling. Okay. And uh, if you are like, if you're looking to answer some questions, you want to find some questions for this, you can create a FAQ. So the AI will generate some five, six questions uh, depending on your keyword. Okay. What we do is we uh, select this. Uh, sentence and let's ask the AI to create a list. Uh, to create a list, so it'll read this question and basically it's a text for it, right? So again, it has generated some uh, results. If you want to keep it uh, going, you can always ask the AI to write a bit more. Yeah, looks good. What I'll do is I'll remove this bit. Uh, you can always generate uh, answer these questions. You can uh, generate FAQ and look for these answers. And basically, they are the part of your content as well, right? Okay, one other way is uh, uh, I need to add some keyword after it while traveling abroad. Okay, uh, generate intro. Hmm. So this time, rather than uh, talking about the write more feature, uh, I'd like to show what the unstuck me feature can do. Basically, it helps you out. Uh, so here are some keyword suggest suggestions. You can uh, key in up to three keywords. So when you're talking about a backlight while traveling abroad, let's uh, talk about the keywords. Smart traveler is one keyword. Okay, then uh, let's put in bring valuables. And um, is there any key other keyword? Okay, I can put in the keyword myself. These were the suggestions, but I can always put in some keyword on my own. Let me put the same keyword backlight. So basically the uh, AI will generate 
text and it will try to try to use the same keywords in the sentence so we put in the smart traveler so you can see it's turned green which means it's there uh, it hasn't talked about the bring valuables bit so what we can do is we can ask the ai to go again let's see okay it's talking about the valuable bit now Okay, uh, so this way uh, you can write a bit more. Maybe you want to write more on the same thing. You can uh, keep on writing. These are just suggestions. Uh, and if you want to write about the last bit, best ways to experience local culture, we follow the same step, generate intro. Mm, good points. Uh, okay, let's just use the instruct me feature. Basically, what we do is we uh, select the uh, phrase from over here. Uh, just for idea, I'd like to say like uh, write three ways, uh, three best ways, three ways to experience local culture while traveling. So I'm instructing the AI to generate the uh, content around this line. Um, okay, generate. Let's see what the AI comes up with. All right, right more. The first and the second point are pretty much the same. It's talking about restaurant, the other one is talking about the local. Okay. Maybe uh, we ask the AI to write again. Okay, it's given us a simple answer, right? Uh, this works as well. This works as well. So if you just keep on uh, uh, asking the AI to write more, you'll eventually get there as well. So uh, these are your three points. Uh, what you can do is you can ask the AI to write more. Again, that's the, the write more feature is like one of my favorite. It's totally a supercharger for your content. You can click on it as many times and the AI will keep writing content. So these were basically the six tips uh, we can use. Um, again, uh, if you're not really uh, like satisfied, you want to write a bit more. So what you can do, it's another suggestion. Uh, just use your title uh, i click on it and i'll ask the ai to create a list or maybe i'll even ask it to uh, add bullet points so bullet points basically it sounds similar to the listicle thing but uh, it creates uh, tags as well so th these are the h2 tags bullet points create h3 tags so as you can see these are h3 these are h2 and this is your title this is h1 so you can uh, follow the same steps again over here you can just click uh, and select the whole headline and generate intro uh, this way you can write everything uh, you want regarding this topic. It's pretty easy, as you can see. And finally, uh, uh, if you are done writing your blog, what you can do is you can uh, go to generate summary and you can ask the AI to generate a summary for you. So meanwhile, I'll just write conclusion and uh, Okay, the AI has already come up with the conclusion. I'll just select it and paste. Now, if you want to add some uh, words in between, this tool is like in, write in, uh, like in writing assistant, uh, though it can write the whole thing uh, with a click of a button. As you can see, I've written it with a click of a button, but you can always uh, key in your inputs and uh, basically advise the AI to write as per your need. So 
the more content you put in, it gives the AI a better context as well. Uh, this looks decent. So uh, if you want to write uh, about the meta description, something with SEO, it's generate a meta description. You can again, uh, can again paste it over here. Okay, you can meta description and you can directly post it. Just a moment. Yeah, meta description. If you're not really satisfied, you can again ask the AI to generate uh, as many times till you are satisfied with the end result. So uh, this was about it. And uh, if there's some kind of a fact, AI has generated some content which is actually wrong or inaccurate, you can always use the fact check feature. So this is again a, a flagship page feature by Longshot AI. And uh, if you've written a long content and you don't want to check out which content uh, needs a factual check, you can always use the claim detection. So uh, when I enable this feature, the AI will read the whole blog and it will basically uh, detect wherever there's a need to check for factual accuracy. So rather than doing it manually, uh, the AI has written some content and if I have to check it manually, the claim detection gives us a signal that this is some uh, sentence or this is a paragraph or a line which needs to be checked for factual accuracy. Okay, this this is a general statement, so we don't need to check. Let's run a fact check. Now, as you can see, uh, if this was an in uh, an inaccurate statement, uh, you'll be seeing a statement like this is a vague statement, uh, this is inaccurate, or something like that. But as you can see, these are uh, we have results over here, which means that other articles have used the same uh, phrase as well similar phrase. Uh, so these are the links to that those articles as well. So you can always click and you can uh, read them along. So I guess uh, that is pretty much all about uh, long shots blog feature. Now you can produce any kind of content, no matter how long. Uh, we have a lot of niches available, you have travel and you have 14 other niches available. And uh, there's no limit. So keep trying. I hope you like this video. And um, thank you for watching.